Hey, I'm David. Thanks for stopping by my channel again. If you like my videos, I'd appreciate it very much if you click on the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos. What's up this week is a uh, Wilton Vice. I picked up, uh, I don't know, in the last year or sometime. I uh, really enjoy restoring vices, especially Wilton. I've got at least one other one. Uh, this one's not going to be too difficult. It's, it's working fine. It's just a little sluggish. Um, came with these really cool um, copper jaw inserts, which I'll clean those up. I think they're going to shine up really nice and look pretty cool in the vise. Um, anyway, thanks again, and uh, let's get right to it. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is going to be to get this thing disassembled. Uh, I've removed these copper jaws, which if you can see, let me see if I can bring the camera in. The condition of the jaws is just incredible. Almost looks brand new because they've been protected by those copper copper jaw inserts. That one wasn't bad. Man, this vice is in really good shape. I'm very happy. All right, here's the big guess. All right, it's dated 670, but I think it was made in 1965 because that's usually, they normally put their guarantee ending date on their slides right there. So I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not, but 670 indicates probably a 1965 manufacture date. Pushed it down through the vise and just gave it a few taps and it actually came out pretty easy. A little bit of damage on this one, but it's not too bad. This one's got just a little bit of damage on top as well. Alright, I'm just going to use the file again. It's got a pretty blunt end on it, so I don't think it's going to do much damage. This has got it. It's, it's a little rough, but I don't think this is going to hurt it too bad. i got to get these pins out. Uh, you probably can't see it. But the pins will go all the way through, so now I've got to back them back out this way a little bit. Actually, I'm going to drive one all the way through and knock it out. Yeah, see, it just came right out. Pretty easy. And this one is stuck in the middle. So it should come right through. Yep, there we go. So I've got the pins out.
All right, everything's been taken apart, uh, degreased, washed off, and now I will start. Some items might get sandblasted. We gotta get some paint stripper on here. Um, hit the wire wheels and things. I gotta straighten this arm here. This one's good. Uh, yeah, just start cleaning everything up. Well, I decided to go ahead and get all the surface scratches out. I've got some dings here on the side that won't come out. I have to go way too deep. So I've got one little scratch left here. And we're going to call this good. Because this, this is not going to get painted. All this will get painted. If something's really bad or deep, I can always put a little Bondo in there. Got a few small dents in this. I've got a large ball peen in the vise. Let's see if I can just tap it a little bit and flatten these out somewhat.
Yeah, man, that's the look I was looking for. It looks good. All right, I'm going to be bluing all these metal parts here. See how it comes out. I use this uh, brand here, Brown Brownells. Works pretty good. Alright, so this is the unblued version. This is the blued version. Again, not sure what the camera's picking up, but I like the way this looks. Well, I forgot to hit record, so I decided to give this a shot, and it took the bluing well. I'm going to get it burnished out here and see what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with that.
Well, hey, you made it all the way to the end. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you sticking with me. Uh, this is a fun little project. Uh, not really a restoration, more of a, just a refurbishment, refinish, because uh, the vise didn't really need a whole lot of work. Um, this is a three and a half inch Wilton bullet vise. Um, and the ones with these tail ends like this, they just kind of been commonly referred to as a bullet vise. Uh, this one had a date stamp on the bottom of the 670 on the bottom of the slide assembly, which indicates it was made in 1965. Wilton put the guarantee date on the bottom of their slides, so that would indicate when the end of the warranty period was, which was five years, so you backdate it to, to know when the vice was manufactured. Uh, cleaned up the body, didn't go overboard with body work on this one. Uh, just painted this, this nice color green and uh, highlighted the lettering with white. I glued all the steel parts, uh, these uh, swivel nuts, uh, the pipe jaws, the clamping jaws here, and the handle assembly. Just didn't glue the end of these. I thought it looked cool with the, the polish on there. Um, yeah, so I really enjoy doing these vices. I'll probably do a few more in the next few months. I uh, hope you'll join me for that. And again, if you, if you like what you're seeing, if you can give me a like and uh, consider uh, subscribing to my channel, I really would appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and please comment if you have any questions or uh, comments. See you on the next one.